Hello and welcome to another StarCraft II commentary video. This is Gum Jabbar. This is going to be a PvP, although I did choose a random. I got Protoss. For some reason, the random system really wants me to play Protoss. Because, like, every time it's Protoss. So I'm sw thinking of switch just switching back to meaning Protoss. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um. This is a PvP. I was going to do a PvT, but, um, well, Fraps decided to be a jerk about it, so that did not happen. Instead, I'm going to do this one, and I'll be sharing with you my general Protoss vs. Protoss strategy. That'll be fun, huh? And I'm going to do this from my own perspective. I'm not going to show anything too extraneous. Just scouting right now. Nothing going on. Um, corner boosting probes, that's pretty normal. I'm gonna get my gateway on 13. And I do like to wall off in PvP because of, you know, two gate zealot rushes. A wall off really helps there, and it's not really that bad to have a wall off. It's not like Terran versus Terran where it can be a liability. I don't think it's really that bad in PvP. So, um, yeah, not much going on. I see his probe coming in. And that's a bit of a mistake. I should be getting my gas before I get this pylon. But I think I'll get the gas right now instead. Now I, tried to, I wanted to really kill that probe, um, but I didn't. Kind of worried about, I mean... I think everyone hates probes. Yeah, there's a gas. That's really late. 17. So that's a bump in my in my build. I'm usually on the ball about that, but um, this game I was feeling pretty slow. Um, I was a little... I don't know. I was a little off. I did see his gas, and... Trying to keep my probe alive, but I think that it won't be so good. Uh, that's my cyber core. Actually, didn't wall off. Uh, that's another mistake. <laughs> a lot of mistakes. No guys in gas yet. And he really wants this probe dead. Uh, okay. He didn't lose any more mining time than I did when I tried to do the same thing, so... Uh, there's the wall in. Okay. Late wall in. Two gate probably would have gotten here by now. But I, you know, I didn't see a two gate, so it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, here's the 7x core. And I'm gonna get warp gate. Just gonna chrono boost it. Don't always chrono boost warp gate because I don't tend to do a warp gate rush. But in PvP, I think. I don't know, it's. A pretty good bet that they're going to be chrono boosting their warp gate, so. Well, I. I guess I don't really have a good reason for doing that. Maybe I'll stop doing that in the future. Um, so I do have this wall in, getting a uh, switching over to sentries. If he is going for a mostly zealot army, the sentries ought to do pretty well in combination with this wall in. So that's what's going on. Making more pylons, making more gateways. Uh, in PvP, my general build is to do a three gateway. And then Robo, and then Expand. And I did see this, um, this probe, so I'm going to send some guys out here to kill it. I'm pretty sure he wants to put down a proxy pylon. I also see this pylon over here, and I do want to kill the probe first. I want to make sure there's nothing up here first. And I'm uh, sending my scouting probe. I saw no expansion, I was pretty sure. So, uh, no proxy over here. Coast is clear. And I think it's around now that I notice this pylon, but it does take me a little while. Anyway, sending him back. And... I'll notice that very soon. There we go. Noticing the pylon. I'm gonna go kill it. He has no high ground right now. And uh, once this pylon's dead, 
Uh, I should be in a pretty decent spot. This zealot's actually not walling in at the moment. Should have had him on hold position, but it's very well. And I killed the Prylon and got back just in time to have all my units down here to defend. I only do have uh, three gateways at the moment. And you can see my money's pretty high. This is about when I want to expand. Or get an, a uh, Robo Bay down. Don't have guys in my gas yet. There they go. That's a really late second gas. Um, again, this is... You can see some a lot of bumps in this play. So this is not the ideal execution of this uh, strategy. Anyway, there's the Robo. So three gateways, Robo. That's the look that I want. But I do want to expand right now, and that is what I'm going to do. I figured that I just stopped his uh, attack. He's probably not going to be aggressive right now. He's going to fall back and expand, and I'm going to do the same. And um, it it does turn out that um, he did four gate. So after I defeated the four gate, he's going to be doing some expanding action. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to focus on what I did. Because I'm just self-centered like that. Uh, Robo Bay is actually not done yet. Um, this Robo Bay should have been a lot faster. Because then I should have had enough gas for it. Because I should have put my gas. So I can gas guys are a lot faster. But, you know, you see how little things like that slow down your play so much. That this Robo Bay should have been completed but before his... Uh, Four gate actually got here, and I should have had at least an immortal out by then. But that's what I'm going to be making, mortals. And making this nexus. Can I attack here? Uh, that's a mistake. Uh, I did scout his expansion, and I wanted to pressure a little bit to make sure that, you know, the pressure wasn't on my expansion. But attacking right after you expand isn't ideal because you just sunk 400 minerals and you're not going to see a return on that investment for a little bit of time. <clears throat> now, this mortal might be stuck, actually. I hope it isn't. I don't think it is, actually. Uh, I'm going to pressure just a bit here, pull back. I don't want to actually try and kill him here. I'm just pressuring. <clears throat> see if I can pick off some zealots. He's pretty zealot heavy, actually. So a little bit of micro, and I should be able to kill a number of zealots. You see my gas is still quite high. I'm going to want to take these two gas geysers quickly, and I haven't yet. So getting another robo. Uh, this is really the linchpin to my PvP strategy. I see he's going gateway units, robo units, uh, stalk, you know, stalkers. So what I'm going to do is, after my initial three gateways... Ah uh, yes, this is uh, stuck, and I'm going to have to kill this pylon to escape. But anyway, after I make my initial three gateways, and I throw down my expansion, and I supply block myself, that's fun, I'm going to do nothing but make robo bays. And a lot of people do this. They'll do the same thing uh, for Colossi. You know, two robo Colossi, pretty popular. That's not what I'm going to do, actually. What I'm doing is mass immortals. And it's my opinion that immortals are criminally underutilized and undervalued in pretty much all Protoss matchups. Uh, maybe not PvZ, I don't really know. I'm still pretty shaky on PvZ myself. But I imagine it would be pretty good against the mass roach business we're getting a lot of nowadays. But uh, PvP is what we're talking about here, and um, immortals are super strong against armored units, like stalkers. They do 50 damage against armored, which is ridiculous, okay? 50 damage. And they're just so incredibly good against virtually everything except for zealots, maybe? That's about it. And obviously air units. <clears throat> and he does happen to have a lot of zealots that I'm not microing. These are my own force fields, by the way, so I kind of blocked myself in. Terrible, terrible force fields. And I'm going to retreat here. I should not have had to retreat there. That was terrible. 
Anywho. More Robo Bays. And a Forge, because I want cannons and, and upgrades. Typically, you do get a Forge right around when you take your uh, natural expansion. It's often, often useful to throw down a couple of cannons at your natural. My opponent did a good job focusing down that Immortal there. That was, that was excellent. Um, and I do have just enough Stalkers to hold them off. But soon, I'm going to be getting more Immortals. I've got three Robo Bays churning out Immortals, and I'm still pretty high on the money. So, uh, actually, they'll be pre pretty low once they start building again. There we go. And I have enough for another one. There we go. So now my money is low again. So three Warp Gate, three Robo Bay. And my macro is not perfect, so maybe uh, that's a little too much. I'm not sure yet. But against like a mainly Stalker army, this is just awesome. Most Protoss in PvP are going to be going for Colossi with Stalkers. The Stalkers serve as a kind of meat shield for the Colossi. They just sort of get killed. Um, and whoever has the most Colossi is going to win. That's how PvP sh generally goes. But with this strategy, I actually should theoretically beat that. Because, and I did scout this with a probe. I like to send probes out to my opponent's base every few minutes. Anyway. This build should actually beat the standard uh, Colossi Stalker build because Immortals are really freaking good against both Stalkers and Colossi. And Colossi have pretty low rate of fire and Immortals do have a hardened shield that's going to be doing a ton of protection. And against any kind of mass gateway business, which is basically what my opponent's doing here, those Immortals are going to just clean up. And since I am getting Stalkers myself, I'm pretty safe against air builds. Um, sacrificial zeal, uh, Stalker over there. Getting so mad I'm blowing up the Minx statue. Now, just look at how much damage these Immortals two-shot Stalkers. They two-shot them. And I'm making more Immortals, obviously. I should really be expanding. I've got 800 up, 400. Okay, well, after another production cycle of Immortals, I'm back down, but I should be expanding about now. Oh, there's my expansion. Perfect. So, um, let's take a look here. My sentries are actually pretty useless at this point, but anyway. <clears throat> yeah, these Immortals two-shot Stalkers. See how much the Stalkers just melted? I mean, if you have this many immortals, they're just going to crush shit. It's pretty insane. So, uh, that was a quick little game. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit about how I play PvP. I think it's pretty effective. And not enough people do it. I feel like people overvalue those colossi. And in PvP, I don't really see how they're that warranted. But, you know, what do I know? Uh, but this is how I play it. And... Bye-bye.